Welcome back, Seven Days to Die mining fans. This is Zith, and I want to uh, pick up where I left off on the first video of the series, which was how to set up Unity 2018 to make things for Seven Days to Die. So today what we're going to do is show you how to make your own flags for the uh, Fun with Flags modlet. And I'm starting here because I've already had a couple of quests that people want to go ahead and make their own flags. So let's show you how you would do that. Uh, I've already dragged in the um, Funwood Flags uh, uh, project uh, um, uh, package into the, this uh, template tutorial project. So we have it here uh, in our asset folders called Funwood Flags. And in the Funwood Flags folder, you have the base mesh, um, you have some image files and some materials. And this one here is simply a, I'll delete that, that is simply what you get when you drag your uh, working project over there. So I'm going to delete that out again for now and just get that out of the way, show you the base stuff that we have here. So we will want to do, since we already have a flag X looted in the game, we want to go ahead and um, I generally just like make a copy of that. And if you right click on it, you can go ahead and click duplicate and it will bring another one down and rename it for you. Let's change this uh, flag, call it uh, flag white river flag white river and we'll get rid of this because we will duplicate the name again and i use minus x here for um for my stuff that i make of course you do whatever you want to show uh, that it's something you created so here we have flag white river and what you don't want to do now is if i was to change the texture on this one because we duplicated it or even copied it if you have a material on this, and if I scroll down here, you see the texture. If I was to change this texture right now with uh, something else, it's going to change all occurrences of all flags would be changed unless you use a different material on each one. So how do you do that? Okay, so first thing you want to do is come down here to the materials and you'll see there's already a flag looted material and there's a material for the pole and a base material for the flag before and these are the actual t uh, texture files for the uh, the pole itself so let's go ahead and create a new material so i'm going to right click in this box here and go down create and material it puts in it creates a new material and i'm going to call this one uh, white river it doesn't matter what you call it, as long as it's something different so now we have a new material called white river all right if we go click over here to the flag itself now i'm going to go ahead and drag the white new material white river onto that and so now it has a completely different one than say the previous one did see which used the flag looted material so this one now has a different material and it's safe to go ahead and retexture that. So we need a new texture. Well, um, easy enough. Basically, um, the dimensions that you want to go ahead and uh, shoot for, let me show you the properties here. If you want to have it uh, more high definition, a uh, like a 2K texture, you, you need to have your um, dimensions at 2560 by 1600. Um, if you want to basically use a 512k texture in game for so it's a smaller file and and has less uh, impact on the game engine you cut that by a factor of four it would turn out to be 640 by 400 um, but you can um, i use this high res in there and then i, I change the maximum uh, resolution in unity for that particular file i'll show you how to do that so let's go ahead and drag this white river flag png in and i have a copy on my desktop here right here and so i'm just going to drag it into uh <clears throat> actually i'm going to drag it in where i put the other one into the root folder there and it gets imported so now it's a simple matter of <clears throat> picking the right flag here flag white river and i'm going to make this one go away just so you don't see it and you can see now here's our white river flag it's just an empty flag and now i'm going to take this texture a couple of ways you do it um you could just drag it on to here and it will show up there. There you can adjust the lighting a little bit uh, by bringing that up. I like to keep it pretty. Seven days die is dark right now. That's being worked on by some modders. Um, I'm going to leave it there for now. But basically, when you click on this box, that allows you to 
you know, change colors if you wanted that flag to be, uh, you know, reddish hue or whatever, you can make it greenish or whatever. But for now, um, I just want it to be white. Get that out of the way. So, okay. So there's our flag. If I click play, see the white river flag, just like that. So again, the important part, make a new material, put the material on the flag, bring in a new texture, put the texture on uh, on the material. And you know, you can also, you know, just drag it onto the object itself, but uh, this, way, uh, this way I do it. You're pretty much all uh, set to go. All you have to do now is take this white river flag and drag a copy over here, and then right click, build asset bundles, call it uh, whatever flag white river, whatever you know you're going to use in your XML for the Unity.3. So we'll have flag white river dot Unity 3D is, at the end of the day is what it's going to be. And we'll save that out to our desktop. And now we can simply bring that into um, the XML that came with the Fun of Flags module. I won't cover the XML, but basically you just copy one of the existing flags, change the names um, uh, of the actual flag, and then change the uh, icon name, and then change the uh, Unity package name and the Unity object name in those strings. And uh, we should be pretty much good to go. Here's a just a quick example of that. I might as well show it to you. So flag looted, all you would do is simply just copy this, right click, copy, and resell some room, and click paste. And there's another copy. So this would be flag white river. And you're going to have to make an icon with this exact same name if you want the icon to show the game. I have a custom icon. They just paste that sucker in there and make an icon called flag white river which is 116 by 80 in its terms of the dimensions and then we have to go ahead and change um, the actual names here copy you can see here it's going to load a out of the mod folder a resource folder of your mod uh, i have all mine bundled into i have all my flags in a file called flags.unity3d but remember we saved it out as flag white river dot unity 3d and we come over here and it's flag white river also so we would replace this with flag white river and uh, we're done the reason why this material if anybody asks in middle because that's the pole and that's the only thing that i put a collider on um you know people are going to hit the pole but you know the flag isn't isn't hittable uh, there's no collider on the actual flag itself um, you can change that if you want um, you can make it not pick up a bowl if you don't want people picking up flag poles um, but I left this all set up. So you would then just simply save that uh, in um, you know, that, your, your copy of my mod and then load that and your flag will then show up in game. I uh, hope you learned something and uh, enjoy making flags and I'll see you at the next video.